What's happening guys, Deliver89 here, dropping you some news on a new step up banner, let's see what it's saying. So guys, like I said, we are dropping you some news on the new Step Up banner. The Legend Step Up banner, the family is here. Now this banner consists of three characters, Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Goten. Now, the downfall is, it is a Step Up banner, meaning if we're going to go by the basis of the volume at two, we're going to get one of these characters trapped behind, of course, the ticket banner. We roughly know which one it's going to be and I'll let you know as we go down the information. But uh, I'm not happy about it. But they have surprised us which character they've put behind the banner. Now, me saying that probably gives you a 33.3% chance of knowing which character it's going to be, as there is three characters. But you know what it is. Now, like I said, we have three characters. And this is rare that they actually announce three characters straight off the bat. Normally, they will drop two characters. And then, of course, let us know the third one later down the line. Now, another good thing about this is one of the characters will have a legend rising or a legendary rising finish. So that is going to be great. Uh, so the legendary finish will be, like I said, for one of these characters. And it, of course, it will be the character behind the ticket banner. So guys, make sure you are saving your chronos. Now we're going to go through the information as much as we can um of what we've got and then at the end of the video we will look at of course the animation slash gameplay for the characters respectively now the event preview goes as followed legend step up volume 3 is coming soon super saiyan goku super saiyan gohan team and super saiyan goten kid join the fight in sparking rarity here comes legend step up volume 3 now like i said if the way they done Legends Step Up Volume 2 with Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, there's going to be a character trapped behind the banner. Now we're going to go through the three characters that we have and just let us know what type of um, colour they're going to be into, what skin is, of course. And of course, look a little bit of their artwork. So the first character, of course, being Goku. He's going to be a yellow sparking rarity. Uh, the artwork looks pretty cool. He does look like it's the Goku from the Broly saga, so or the Broly movie, the second one, of course. Hence, these characters will be using the father, son, or the family Kamehameha. So we're going to look at that in the animation in a second. Then the next character, of course, is Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. He is going to be a blue sparking rarity. Now, once again, he is wearing his gi from what he thought in of course the brew boo the broly saga or broly um movie and this is of course the og ones the second one and then the last one like i said you're going to get a bit of a surprise this is the super saiyan teen or kid sorry goten here's going to be a purple sparking rarity and it says as as you can see it says legends limited now this character from this from what it says i'm stuttering because it's really pissing me off a bit from what this means is He's going to be the character stuck behind the banner. This character will have the legendary finish as well. He, to be honest, I think he deserves it out of all of them because Gohan's had too much. He's had way too much. And this is most likely, I think, the second or third Goten that they've brought into the game. So it's good to put a little bit of limelight on the lesser known or the lesser characters because Trunks has already had his time to shine. Kid Trunks, Teen Trunks has had his time to shine. Gohan's had way too much. Of course, Goku always has time to shine. Um, so it's about time they bring a character like this. Now, the way Dokkan's gone is they've already brought out their father, son, or family coming home heart. So why not Legends? So it all that goes from here. The information we have is just the artwork for the three characters and letting us know what color and, of course, the sparking and what character is most likely going to be hidden behind the banner, the trap banner. Now, it says, looking forward to the up-and-coming event, and also check out the latest information. Make sure you are subscribed and or following the Twitter page, uh, the DB underscore legends, which will help you and keep you up to date with, of course, the latest. I'm using, at the moment, legends.dbz.space to get some of the information here. Um, so guys, make sure you check that out and check out the internet, uh, check out the page, sorry. But once again, these characters are going to be 
on point, I think. I think they're going to be good. These characters are going to be a type of characters that have to be in a team together. So you will most likely have to get all of these characters together. Whereas pretty much they might not gel to as well as with other teams. But of course they will because they have they most likely have the tags, of course, Super Saiyan, Saiyan, Son Goku family or Son family. So they will gel quite well. But you personally do want to get all three characters. So make sure you are grinding out your chronos if you're a pay to play player of course ugh, you know what to do make sure you've got a shit load of chronos but guys we're going to quickly go over to the gameplay and see what they're saying with them there so we're quickly going to look at the footage of gohan goku and goten in action Some good training. I'll put you out of your misery. So there we have it, the legendary finish itself. Now, they don't really have a gameplay for Goku. I believe he's going to be a pretty much a carbon copy of his Super Saiyan self, as you can see with his Kamehameha. But the way they put um, Gohan and Goten, especially Gohan with that legendary finish, the artwork afterwards did look really great. But it didn't look like it was on point as the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But... It is what it is. It is a family or father-son's Kamehameha, which was really good, to be honest. But we're going to go through a little bit of information on each character and see what they're saying about them. So without further ado, here we go. So here we have Gohan, family son Kamehameha, Super Saiyan Gohan is coming, ultimate skill, family Kamehameha deals a massive damage and drastically shortens ally substitution count. Gohan strikes damage is boosted when the Goku is defeated. Get ready to step in dad's shoes. So, yeah, pretty much it's just saying for Gohan, he has his ultimate skill, which is family Kamehameha. Of course, Goten will join involved in it. You do really want to have Goku as one of your teammates in it because, like it says, his strike damage does get boosted as he's trying to get in the shadow of his dad. Now, we're going to go on to, of course, Goku. We haven't got really gameplay for him because they mixed him in with Goten. So it says... We must work together. Super Saiyan Goku is coming. Goku is a powerful f fighter. When teamed with his fellow sons, when defeated, he heals allies and boosts their damage inflicted and raises son, family's ultimate damage, pass on the family pride. So Goku is pretty much there to buff up the characters. You really do, unfortunately, want him to get killed first. And then, of course, they will buff everyone else's attributes. So, guys, if you are trying to use him, get him involved because he does of course heal the allies and boost their damage inflicted so he will be a great addition to your team no matter what but you do want either one of the Goten or Gohan of course ideally you'd want Goten but he's going to be hidden behind that ticket banner and lastly of course is Super Saiyan Goten family Kamehameha Super Saiyan Goten is coming Goten's amazing ultimate skill, Family Kamehameha, nullifies endurance abilities, deals huge damage if all battle members are Sun Family, Super Saiyan fighters, get ready for DBL's second legendary finish. Now, this meaning they have to be from the Sun Family but in the Super Saiyan category for him to deal a huge amount of damage which will of course increase it. Uh, his main ability will be to... Uh, nullify endurance abilities so maybe he'll be good against regen teams and stuff like that 
But we never know. We, we'll have to find out. They'll add a few more little inklings into their Z abilities and stuff like that in the future. When we get the information, of course, I'll try to draw it to you straight away. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think about these characters. Do you think they're up to scruff? Do you feel we deserve someone else as the legendary uh, or legendary um, finish? Or are we okay with Goten taking the second, well, the second one ever, like it said? But guys, that is it for me today. Thank you for watching. Like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more in the future. And until next time, people, peace.